On October 7, 2018, a tropical depression formed about 100 miles off the coast of Belize after about a week of developing. At around 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it transitioned into Tropical Storm Michael with winds of about 40 miles an hour. Approximately 24 hours later, at 8 a.m. on October 8th, Michael was upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane about 67 miles south of the western tip of Cuba with winds of about 75 miles per hour. Over 300 people were evacuated from the Cuban provinces of Pinar del Rio and Artemisa. It then underwent rapid intensification in the Gulf of Mexico, going from Category 1 to Category 4 with winds of 136 miles per hour in about two days. At around 6 a.m. on October 10th, the outermost rain bands started to make landfall on the Florida coast. Over 375,000 people in 22 Florida counties in the Panhandle and North Central Florida were under orders or recommendations to evacuate. Mandatory evacuation orders were issued for parts of several Florida counties, covering over 180,000 people. Storm surges of up to 14 feet were expected. 500 members of the Florida National Guard were activated, while another 5,000 were placed on standby. Non-mission essential personnel and aircraft were moved from Tyndall Air Force Base, Hurlburt Field, and Eglin Air Force Base. Schools such as Florida A&M, Florida State University, and Tallahassee Community College were closed for the hurricane. The governor of Georgia declared a state of emergency for 92 counties in southern and central parts of the state on October 9th. Michael reached Category 5 intensity with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour and a minimum pressure of 919 millibars at about 1.30 p.m. on October 10th as it made landfall near Davis Beach, Florida. After coming ashore, Michael quickly weakened, being downgraded to a Category 1 a mere six hours after initially making landfall. The storm continued into central Georgia at Category 1 strength before being downgraded to a tropical storm where it would remain while traveling through North and South Carolina. It would transition into an extra tropical cyclone near Virginia at around 8 p.m. on October 12th. It tracked in a northeasterly direction up into the North Atlantic before turning southeast, dying off near the west coast of Portugal on October 15th. Hurricane Michael cost $25.5 billion in damages, making it the 10th costliest U.S. Atlantic hurricane in history. 59 fatalities were recorded in the U.S., 8 in Honduras, four in Nicaragua, and three in El Salvador. Six people died in Florida from storm surges, two died from falling trees, and one person in Georgia and two people in North Carolina also died from falling trees. The areas of Bay County, Northwestern Gulf County, Calhoun County, Western Liberty County, Southern Jackson County, and Western Gadsden County in Florida were hardest hit, as well as the Georgian counties of Seminole, Miller, and Early. On March 20th, 2019, the name Michael was officially retired from being used to name a hurricane due to the immense damage it caused. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and please consider subscribing so you can learn more about weather phenomena on my channel.